it seems like there is no end in sight to the action going on on our sun at the moment. About 30 hours after our first X-Class flare, you're looking at nearly another one. As we take a look at the X-Ray flux chart, you could see it just comes up to that X-Class level. Maybe a hair beyond it, maybe a hair under, but still, the amount of energy, the amount of solar flares and solar wind and all that comes with the sun's power has been on another level. And let us not forget the earthquake swarm that's taking place just to the west of New Caledonia in the South Pacific Ocean. Now remember, we have the Tonga Volcano over by this fault line here. Still, we're talking about 800 kilometers away, but nonetheless, we could be seeing direct effects from these solar flares that are aiding in this earthquake swarm. Remember, just after that first X-Class flare, we had the first 7.0 earthquake that took place here. Chances are that solar wind was from the previous M-Class flares, but very interesting how they happened around the same time. And finally, this is pretty cool. You're looking at a snapshot from Helio Viewer, where most of these SDO cams are visible. If you guys remember, we found a crazy anomaly that ended up being featured on Third Phase of Moon after we found it here on the Into Thin Air channel. Those videos are available in the description box below, but look what we found yesterday. Of course, there's no such thing as sun zombies that I know of, but if there were, this would definitely be one of them. And I just think it's really cool. It's time to take this information. We're going to break it all down right here, right now. Let's go. <laughs> my friends happy april fool's day it is april 1st 2022 and i can assure you i'm not joking about this and once again we need to visit our sun this thing is going crazy we're approaching 15 or 20 different solar flares including two near x class flares multiple m class flares and everything in between you're looking at a few slow-mo clips of the two x class flares or should i say one x class the second almost an x class nearly touching that x line but that's almost besides the point with how close these are happening now, really quick, what you're looking at here are the two charts responsible for showing when these CME impacts will happen. The top chart was the first X-Class flare that left the sun on the 30th, expected to hit Earth around tonight. And that chart there on the bottom shows the near X-Class flare that left the sun overnight last night, which is expected to skim Earth just on the heels of that first X-Class flare. And that is the key here. According to suspicious observers, a very good source of info on these situations, he said that the combination of these two CME happening around the same time shouldn't be too bad. But it's definitely something to be concerned about in the future, especially with the sun reaching solar maximum where it's at its greatest potential to produce these CMEs and the fact that they're happening almost in 24 hour intervals. We very much need to keep an eye on the sun. We are already having effects from the previous CMEs, the M-class solar flares, including the new X-class, whether that comes to electronic interference on the surface of the earth or even an earthquake swarm, which happened to take place while we were getting hit by all the M-class flares that previously came off the sun. You can see here the area to the east of New Caledonia, including farther to the east, Tonga, where that massive volcano went off just recently. We've had a swarm of high sixes and even two different 7.0 earthquakes right on that fault line, which makes perfect sense because when the solar wind is impacting Earth, those earthquakes will happen at the weakest points, which are the fault lines. Long story short, I will definitely be keeping an eye on the sun on a daily basis because in my opinion, this string of solar flares and or CMEs is not over yet. Not to mention another group of sunspots, which is becoming more and more active, moving into Earth facing, can very much produce the same amount of power as the sunspots that are finally leaving the upper east quadrant of the sun. All right, my friends. And finally, on to what you've all been waiting for, I'm sure, is the sun zombie. I'm just kidding. Obviously, it's not a real zombie, but this is pretty cool. As I was watching the sun cams, which I do pretty often, I noticed a filament coming off the sun that for a split second took the shape of what looks like some sort of alien zombie with its arms sticking out as you can see compared to the actual zombie to the right but sometimes i like to just point this stuff out because a lot of times you guys send me things like this and i'm going to start throwing them in videos but i felt like it related to the video from yesterday where we found what many are calling a craft the video's been out for a little while it's been featured by third phase of moon and goofon two big ufo researchers who both could not come up with answers to what this might be if you guys remember we posted this yesterday and it seriously looks like there is shape and structure almost in a disc 
disc form with lights around the edge. Very, very interesting. That video is linked in the description below if you want to go check it out. It's pretty incredible the things you can catch when you watch these sun cams and actually take the time and have a little patience. You can really get some cool artifacts, things that look like ships, and now sun zombies. For those of you that have any questions about this type of stuff, the sun situation or the earthquakes that are more than likely being caused by the solar wind hitting our atmosphere and affecting the surface of the earth, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them and if I can, I will direct you towards someone who can because this is not something to take lightly. There are plenty of articles out right now talking about this specific grouping of solar flares and how they affect the earth. They cause auroras and all sorts of things that could be nice and dandy, but at the same time, if we get hit hard enough, it can absolutely affect our lives here on earth. That is all I got for you in this video, my friends. Please take some time and watch the video from the day before yesterday where I go into detail about that weird ship next to the sun and also go check out Third Phase of Moon and Goofon. Their most recent videos also features this, which is very cool. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Canada. No more PCR tests, my friends. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.